Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. This will be the fifth episode and we continue where we last stand to cook Swedish food. And in this episode I will cook fried herring, which is a very classic old Swedish dish. I have no idea how old it is and this is my version of it. If there is, a few, if there is any ingredients that you cannot find in US or the country that you are living, you can uh, replace them uh, with other ingredients that I will recommend. Or you can leave them out as well. However, I hope you will enjoy this episode. And if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. That will help my channel a lot. But now it's time to start cooking. Let's do Swedish fried herring. Hope you will enjoy this. Let us start with the sweet and lingonberry. They will take longest time. Just mix lingonberry together with sugar. If you can't find lingonberry, just use cranberries instead. Let them sit in room temperature for at least a few hours. Okay, this is no rocket science, but it's time to prepare our mashed potato. Peel your potatoes and put them in a pot with water. Salt them generously. In this recipe, I use 700 grams of potatoes together with two liters of water and 20 grams of salt. Now it's time to do our filling. Add quark to a bowl. If you can't find quark, you can replace it with cream cheese. Then add dill and shallots. The next two ingredients are optional. This is Swedish unsmoked sandwich caviar. If you can't find it in your local IKEA store, just skip it. And this ingredient is uh, the liquid from a jar of anchovies. Can be hard to find, also optional. And now just stir everything together and this is your filling. And last but not least, the herring. Even if the herring contains so many bones, they are very small so they will melt away, but cut off the fin. The rest of the bones will actually melt in the pan. The next step is to add coarse rye flour to a baking dish together with salt, which I of course forget to record. However, all the ingredients are down in the description. Add your fillets to the baking dish with skin side down. And add the filling. Now put the rest of your fillets on top of the others. The next step is very easy, just turn them around and make sure that they are very well covered. And about now your potato should be ready. So pour out the water and uh, let them steam for a few minutes. Then it's time to crush your potatoes. Then add smetana, if you can't find it, just use sour cream instead. Add lemon zest and mix it together. Now add salt and white pepper. Then add melted butter and dill. Now it is time to fry our herring. Put the pan on medium heat and add a generous amount of butter. Then you can add your herring. Fry it for 10 to 12 minutes on each side and then it's time to serve this. Start with your mashed potato, follow up with your herrings, your sweetened lingonberry, melted butter and a slice of lemon. So that was my version of Swedish fried herring. I hope you like this and I hope you try to make it yourself. If you like what I'm doing, please hit the like and subscribe button. Hope to see you again in one week. Take care.